Yo, 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 it's your boy Rascal and I hope you're all having a great day today. In today's video, we'll be getting into how to improve your aim and get more headshots. Let's get right into this video. If you guys are brand new to Rainbow Six Siege and you stumbled upon this video, let me just quickly break down what Rainbow Six Siege is really about. This game is a one-shot headshot kind of game with almost every single gun. Some shotguns obviously won't one-shot headshot, but any fully auto gun or any pistol will be a one-shot headshot. In this video, I'll break down how to improve your aim and get more headshots, so make sure to stay all the way to the end. There are timestamps in the video bar below if you guys already know some of these tricks. I bet you don't know all of them. Let's get right into this. The first tip for you guys is warming up. I know it sounds absolutely silly. If you're only interested in casual just playing with friends, obviously then I don't recommend this unless you really want to impress your friends. By warming up I mean terrorist hunts, aim labs, practicing your aim, um, even just a quick match before you get into your unranked or ranked matches. Warming up allows you to get used to your, your feel of your mouse pad today or your controller. It's important for you guys if you really care about that headshot percentage and improving your aim, you need to get on there, get practicing just 30 minutes of listening to music or 15 minutes of listening to music against terrorist hunts and I bet you, you'll play better in your first game. A lot of people, their first game is their ranked game, they whiff a lot of shots, their teammates flame you, your mental's flamed, your chalks, you're finished, the game's over, you're not going to have a good night, so that's my number one advice, got to start off with the basics. This next tip is probably the most important, it's a little bit silly, but it is the title of the video. Aiming at head height, you cannot get headshots if you aren't aiming at head height. You might say, what do you mean by this? So people are going to be at three different levels. You're going to have people lying down, very very rare, normally they get droned or called out or audio called. Secondly, you've got aiming at crouch height, which is when people are crouching around corners. Aiming at crouch height is quite important, a lot of lower elos do this and a lot of lower elos get trapped at only aiming at the floor slash shoulder to hip height. A lot of guys get stuck in this, this is probably my number one tip for you guys to improve if you want to get into higher ranks, is get used to aiming at head level around all corners and flicking down if they are crouching. It's important for me to add that not every single bullet you fire is the headshot. Siege has a lot of guns have between 20 to 30 bullets in the magazine, you only need one of them to hit the headshot. It can graze them, it can wall bang them, it can pre-fire them. These are all things I'll be getting into further in the video. But these are all examples of what I mean about aiming at head height and getting used to the head height because you just need to get the advantage over the enemy because this game is all about that one millisecond where you get the headshot or not. This next tip is very hard for me to tell you just to do it because this just takes time and practice but it's very crucial to improve at this video game. It is aim tracking, aim tracking, you might remember what's aim tracking again, is when you're moving while shooting and they're moving, so you've got multiple things going on with your hands and your brain, etc, etc, a lot of moving pieces, it's very hard, this is the hardest bit, but if you can master this and improve this, I promise you, your game will level up, level up and level up. I mean, I see you might be asking, how do you improve this? Well, I genuinely, there is no secret to it, but you can practice on aim labs and other things where you've got the little balls moving side to side, and you, you move side to side while shooting. There's also ways like just practicing Terrace Hunt, obviously, but there's also practicing game. The best what I do to improve this is by playing unranked myself. Before I play a lot of my ranked matches, I play unranked. You will just get into gun battles that force you to move, force you to shoot. And if you can shoot while moving, it'll catch the enemies off guard. You'll get more kills. It doesn't always have to be headshots with this. Obviously, the whole point of this is headshots. So if you can get that headshot, you'll get that kill. You'll walk away with full health as well. This bit is going back in the video where I discussed about lying down, crouching, head high. This is about knowing what position the enemy is in. I know you've been saying, how, 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 how am I supposed to know that? I'm going around the corner, I, I don't know the guys there. This is to do with percentage and droning and call out and audio. These are all a combination of it. So by percentage, I mean the enemy will most likely be standing up. That's just the gist. So you aim at standing up height if you have no idea and you flick down. Pull down when you start shooting. Percentage is, if they're standing up and you start shooting, but they're actually crouch height, you pull down, you have a better chance than if you think they're crouching and they're headshot. That's just pure percentage about pulling down, pulling up. If you do this the other way around and the enemy's standing up, but you aim at crouch height and you've got to pull all the way from up to their lower chest, all the way to their body, that's going to take five to six bullets to hit before it even gets close to the head. So this is another reason why you just aim at head height most of the time, unless it gets audio called, so you can hear it in audio when someone decides to crouch. It's a sever, or just even moving side to side, that can only be really standing up with a lot of audio from side to side. You've got your droning, so your teammate's droning, you're droning, you saw their last position standing up, just aim standing up. You might think, oh, I just saw him standing up, he might crouch. This is all how the game feels, your gut reaction to the situation. These are all different ways. This next step is a recall control. We all know that my channel goes through most guns with high recoil and breaks down how you can control it. So check those videos in the channel. But if you guys don't already know, you can go into a, a custom match and just shoot the wall and figure out what the gun pattern is. Does it pull left? Does it pull right? Does it have hardly any recoil? Does it kick a lot at the beginning? Does it slow down? This is a fantastic way 
with those 30 odd bullets you have to figure out what's your percentage chance of getting a headshot and how many bullets are you going to fire how many bullets do you have what chance do you have what's the fire rate how much does it kick what attachments etc etc these are all part of the package for you guys to get more headshots and improve your aim i really recommend making a custom game if you guys don't know how to make a custom game leave a comment down below and i'll make a custom video about custom matches if you make that custom game you shoot into the wall practice with different guns you'll see the different recoils do it from different distances, don't do it just from point blank, do it from further away, you'll see more recoil. And that'll allow you to master the recoil more and more, which will allow you to get more headshots. Next step, pre-firing. Some of you will know what pre-firing is, maybe not all of you. Pre-firing is when you hear someone come towards you and you shoot before you go around the corner, so the bullets are already firing to give your enemy less of a chance to shoot back. Pre-firing is commonly used in siege at higher elos. I get pre-fired all the time, I pre-fire people all the time, it's incredibly sus, people think you're cheating, etc, oh etc. Well, all you do guys is, it's a habit instinct. I'll be telling you, sometimes you'll pre-fire and there'll be no one there because the CJ will do it as weird. Sometimes you pre-fire spot on headshot, the guy's like, wow, how did you know? Sometimes you can pre-fire from a yellow ping, to the Z pings on the floor, you guys can pre-fire those. So if you see a Z ping in the hallway, and you guys know he's probably halfway through the hallway by the time you swing the corner, you can pre-fire close to the hallway. Pre-firing is a real tricky one to give pure advice on because it's all situational dependent. But you guys can improve it by just by trying it, by learning from your mistakes from pre-firing and being okay with firing bullet. Most guns in Siege have insane amount of bullets in the magazine. Like we're talking 150 minimum. You guys have got four or five mags at least around. So why not use two, three to try to potentially get a kill that you might never get? What is the point of dying with four magazines on your body? You might as well die with one or zero. This next step is quite an advanced one, but it's for you advanced gamers in here. I know I've got a few diamond gamers, platinum gamers, champs gamers. Let me know in the comments if you are a diamond gamer like myself. Oh, not quite. Sorry, I'm lying. I'm platinum one this season, about to get diamond soon. Check the streams in the link below. This step is quick peeking slash peeking behind the shield. Shields are very, very strong in Rainbow Six Siege at the moment. They've got little gaps in the corners of the shields that you can use to look. And it's really hard for the enemy to see. You'll only kind of see an outline and people like smoke and stuff really blend in with the shield a lot of the time. So you can use a shield. It's called quick peeking from a shield. You might be wondering what's quick peeking slash psycho peeking slash bolo peeking. Quick peeking is basically when you hit about four keys at the same time. It's when you walk to the left while peeking to left and then immediately peeking to right while you're walking. It's very hard to explain. I'll have a demonstration on screen right now. This will allow you to show only a quarter of your head, not your whole body for the enemy, but it allows you full field of vision because in Siege, if you pop your head around the corner, you'll see everything, but they might not see your full head, if that makes sense. For their screen, it might look like you've only got one eye around the corner, but on your screen, you've got your whole vision around and you know exactly where they are and you can re-swing it again and get a free headshot. Quick peeking is something you practice in terrorist hunts that is genuinely with no bots. You just stand there on a doorway, you quickly peek. Maybe you got a friend in there as well to can tell you how much are you showing yourself and then try to practice shooting him after the quick peeks. That's all you do. There is literally no secret to this one. You can practice it in casual, unranked and ranked if you guys are really brave enough. I'm not very good at it. I'm only getting better at it. This is a very much a muscle memory slash use it a lot and you'll get better at it every 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 sick gamer at siege can do this it's incredibly difficult though i do only recommend it if you're on the higher elos but it's a good way to improve it if you can do this in lower elos like silver and gold and you can do this you'll definitely win more gunfights thank you again for all the support guys we are so close to 1500 subs I really would like to hit 10k this year. It's going to be a task and a half, but we're off to a great start. So if you guys haven't shared this video, share it to your friends, get some extra subs in, be much appreciated. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for all the support. I hope this guide has helped you. If it hasn't, please leave some critical feedback down below. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Best community out there. Love you lots. See you later. See you in the next one.